Hi, I'm Scott Smith. And I'm Tanya Smith. Welcome to the Turpentine Creek Podcast. Hello, my name is Kyle. I'm an intern here at Turpentine Creek. I'm originally from San Francisco, California. Um, we are going to talk about today's Cat of the Week. Um, cat of the Week today is a male lion named Willie, right behind me. Um, Willie's actually from Eureka Springs, uh, Arkansas. He's a cute local animal. Uh, he might be spraying, but I don't think so. Um, Willie, his owner, yeah, basically had him as a pet. And after a while, he couldn't take care of Willie anymore. So he gave us a call, and we were able to take Willie in. Willie's a pretty rambunctious uh, lion. He likes to get caroling with all the other lions here at the refuge. Sometimes he can be pretty lazy and won't even get up when it's time to carol with the everybody else. Uh, he came here with another tiger named Ava, who's actually his, at one point was his cage mate. She's here next to him. If you'd like to visit Willie, um, you can come to Turpentine Creek. He's right here with everybody else to say hi. And he's pretty active most of the days right before feeding time. Hi, my name is Lori and I'm one of the staff zoologists here at the uh, Turpentine Creek. And um, when we rescue cats here at the refuge, um, we work really hard to give them um, enrichment and enhance their lives as much as we can. And this is also true for the people who work here at the refuge. Um, our interns come in, there. Um, we all have degrees, four-year university degrees in, in zoology or biology and animal care. And that is a really important part of the, uh, what you learn here at the refuge is looking after the animals, but it goes so much more beyond that. Um, interns will come in and by the time they leave in six months, they not only know how to care for lions and tigers and cougars, but they also are experts in lawn care. They've learned how to hang wire, to use um, many of the, much of the equipment that we uh, use to um, build habitats, um, and the staff, that goes even um, more so. I've been here about 12 years now, and in that time I've learned how to weld to help build the cages and habitats that we're doing out here. Um, learn how to drive the tractor, learn how to use basically any kind of tool or equipment you can use out here. None of this stuff I ever thought I would be doing when I was sitting in class, in biology class. Um, in addition to uh, the construction side of things, we've also, many of us biologists and zoologists, taken office type jobs as well. Um, we, we do all the human resources, all the hiring here, all the gift shop management, and uh, any kind of PR and promotions as well. Um, we have one of our staff zoologists right now in Indiana doing a promotion to help raise money for the animals. So because we have been able to learn all these different um, jobs and, and different skills that we have out here, we don't have to hire out for people to do that kind of thing. And that means that more money goes back to help the animals. So know that when you come here and you support the, the refuge by just visiting or adopting an animal or sponsoring or just donating um, to the cause, that we work our hardest to make sure all that money does go to make the animals' lives better and not to any of the overhead at the refuge. So come out today. Um, it's coming into summertime. It's nice and warm. The cats are really active. And it's a, a great time to come visit. My name is Ivy Cooper. I'm a staff biologist here and today's question is um, how well do the animals adjust when you first rescue them? It really just depends on the animal. Just like people, they all have different adjustment periods and about two weeks ago the three orange tigers that live here um, wouldn't have been seen. You would think that the cages were empty back here but actually they were hiding in their den. So it takes, uh, you know, just depending on the cat um, takes them a little bit of time to adjust but now we're pleased to see that they're out uh, moving around they're actually eating in front of us and um, making nice noises and coming out to say hi so it's nice to see that they're adjusting it took probably about a month total for them to be um, to become pretty comfortable here so we're very pleased with the, their progress you want to give me a kiss under that part? <laughs> 